Today we're going to show you the proper use of a peristaltic pump and how to set your tubing in a well to do low flow sampling. First we need to do is open the well and remove the well plug. Sometimes there's pressure or vacuum when you remove the well plug, so you need to let the water table stabilize. After water's been stabilized, you need to collect the depth of water and depth of bottom if you don't previously have one. Make sure your meter is turned on and test it. The depth of water in this well is 10.03 feet. To determine your set point for your tubing, you need to know the bottom depth of the well. For that, you can go off previous data or the drill logs. Assume we don't have anything on this one, we're just gonna get a new depth of bottom. The depth of bottom of this well is 16.83 feet. So, we have 6.8 feet of water. To set your tubing properly, you need to be in the mid middle screen if the screen is fully saturated, or the middle water column if the screen is not fully saturated. This well has a 10 foot screen, and we have 6.8 feet of water, so we need to set our tubing mid water column, which would be 12.63 feet. To set your depth of your tubing properly, you could use the water level indicator to measure out your depth. So that would be 12.63 feet is our middle screen to set our tubing. Our set depth is 12.63 feet, which is in the middle of the water column for this well. Cut our tubing, and you'll need a piece of soft silicone to go through the pump head. Just push the tubing on so it makes the airtight fitting. Next, you will need an additional piece of tubing to come out of the pump head into your multi-parameter meter. This is our pump. You need to make sure your pump head is open and it has jaws underneath it. The soft tubing has to be squished by the jaws to create a fitting and the rollers is what pulls the water up to grade. Put your tubing in and clamp down your head. All right, so we have two different types of peristaltic pumps. This is a newer style proactive that's digital and our older style Geotech pump, which just has a speed control on it. Both of them have the same pump heads on them between them. All right, so the Newer style one, it has multiple switches. Pretty simple to use, master on off switch, turn it on and let the system boot up. After it's booted, you can turn on the meter, turn on the internal battery, turn on the pump, and this is the set which way you're rotating to bring up the water. You have forward, which is clockwise, reverse, which is counterclockwise. Since we're coming up through the pump from the left side, going through the right side, so that would be the forward direction. From here, you would speed up your pump until the pump starts rotating. It always starts off faster and you just need to bring it back down once it gets moving. You want to maintain a slow flow rate if you don't have any history of the well in case the well does not have a good recharge and draws down too much and you do not want to exceed your drawdown while sampling. So we'll wait for water to come to grade and we'll measure a flow rate. So now that we have water coming up to grade, the initial water is usually a little more turbid so I usually let it run out for a few minutes before sending it through the parameter meter. Collect our flow rate. So I timed it out for 30 seconds, and we're flowing about 80 mils a minute right now. So now you have your water come up to grade and you set your flow rate, we'll begin filling our flow cell. Fill the bottom of the flow cell, so it'll fill up the water and discharge out the top into your bucket. So this is the older style peristaltic pump. They're easier to use, it has an on off switch, forward and reverse, and a speed control. So it's pretty much the same thing as this other one. You open the jaws, set the tubing in, close it, set your direction that you need to pump, forward or reverse. Forward again is clockwise, reverse is counterclockwise. Since we're coming up through this side of the head, going to the right, it is on the forward direction. Turn your pump on until it rotates and back it back down to your slower flow rate um, that the weld can handle. After that, it's all the same. Um, these peristaltic pumps, are only good to about 25 to 30 feet uh, depth of water. Otherwise, it cannot come overcome the atmospheric pressure and you need to use a different style pump, like a bladder pump or a submersible. Um, 
periscope pumps are nice and easy to use. In closing, that's how you set your tubing properly in a well to your mid water column or mid screen, depending on what's saturated. Make sure your pumps are set in the correct direction when you're pumping, because you do not want to be blowing air down into your wells. And as always, make sure to have your PPE, secure your area with cones so no one gets in the way or you don't get run over in a busy parking lot. Hopefully that gets you started doing some sampling.